Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days in five minutes. And Weather in Five brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware, Long Island's largest rock salt provider. And they've got everything you need to help you with your winter storm cleanup. 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, 631-756-1125. The website is omnitruevalue.com. And uh, with the cold air mass overhead last night into this morning and clear skies and mostly light winds, we had some rather cold temperatures away from the warmer urban centers, which bottomed out close to 20. Nine for the low in uh, West Hampton at the uh, Gabreski Airport, one degree below zero in Poughkeepsie, Montgomery getting down to three below zero. We had a seven at Somerville Airport, six at Andover, 14 at Caldwell. Further south, we are looked at Chester County Airport bottoming at 14, a low of one at York County Airport, and another low of seven at Forney Trail. And is that a nine for Big Knob, Pennsylvania, Harrisburg bottoming out at 15. The deep snow cover, clear skies and light winds, perfect ingredients for a super cold morning. And we are going to see temperatures try to moderate today. It's going to be a little bit tough, but we're going to try. And those high temperatures will probably reach up into the low and middle 30s. I think we should see temperatures get up above the freezing mark in most places. Might even see a few readings in the upper 30s to around 40 in southern New Jersey down into Delaware. But uh, with the deep snow cover back through Pennsylvania, and I drove uh, west to Ohio on Route 80. What a beautiful drive it was yesterday through the mountains of Pennsylvania. And all the years I've been up here, ne never uh, driven uh, through that area or in upstate New York in, in, a, in the wintertime when there was snow cover all from one part of the state to the other. It was just uh, just a gor gorgeous scenery. Uh, upstate New York today, we'll see temperatures in the mid to upper 20s, and we're also looking for temperatures in the upper 20s to around 30 uh, for New England. Now, we will moderate a bit tomorrow. We'll see temperatures edge up a little higher, upper thir up, actually mid-30s to, to around or just over the 40-degree mark in most places, and we've got a couple of weak weather systems that we're going to have to deal with. In the meantime, we have high clouds streaming in from the southwest as uh, energy starts to push eastward. There's also some northern stream energy that's going to get uh, involved, but they're going, to, they're going to do it separately, and that means that we're not going to see uh, the, the two uh, uh, separate fa uh, jets phasing and creating a major storm. We've got Two relatively weak systems, one on Sunday, one on Monday. Uh, neither one of them will cause any serious problems other than some minor precipitation. And you can see the action on the uh, Canadian satellite loop, uh, very busy across southern Canada with weather systems moving along. And this is going to play a role in, uh, of course, the weather going forward. Now, the weather prediction folks at the WPC rainfall liquid uh, precipitation totals and a lot of this believe it or not is going to be is going to, going to be rain uh on the order of about three quarters of an inch to some places an inch and a half throughout much of the northeast and also down in the gulf states in fact uh, even though even parts of the ohio valley mid-atlantic and southeast looking like we could see a um a decent amount of rain this week. The bulk of this is going to come on Thursday, Christmas Eve, and of course still pretty busy up in the Pacific Northwest. I want to take you through the upper air really quickly because it's just really interesting how uh, we've watched this pattern evolve that has led to the snowstorm we had last week. And while there's nothing at the moment that I would specifically point to and say this is going to be uh, the next uh, the next snowstorm or even just the next snow event, uh, we do see the upper air pattern remaining favorable for something to try to happen if the pieces come together. That's really about the best we can say. And when we look at the upper air pattern, what I'm particularly focused on is the building of higher pressures. Again, this has been very persistent for weeks now, but the building of higher pressures up uh, in the area around in the North Atlantic around Greenland, and also a very busy jet stream, particularly the southern part of this jet stream, 
uh, which remains very active, and we have an active northern part of the jet stream. And we're looking at here going into the longer term for the last week of December and maybe a little bit beyond that. Uh, I think the uh, overall climate remains bullish for additional winter weather. Uh, it will be a matter of whether these nor the energy that's in the northern stream and the energy in the southern stream wind up uh, getting together. Now, as far as the shorter term goes, which is the rest of the weekend and into next week, I don't see anything um, of consequence and I don't see anything with regards to another round of snow. I know that everybody looks at a map and sees snows, snow on it. Uh, and such starts to jump up and down for the snow lovers, especially for, for what is being produced for Christmas Eve. But uh, I'm going to have to disappoint you on this, at least from what I'm seeing at the moment. This is for tomorrow where we have this weak southern system staying separate from the northern system. Uh, it could produce a few rain or snow showers tomorrow afternoon. You see that the model does show that. Uh, and then on Monday, we have another system diving down from the Great Lakes to off the coast. And that also could produce a few rain or snow showers. Behind that, uh, it turns very cold for Tuesday again. We probably have another day where temperatures will be hard-pressed to get much above the low and mid-30s. Then the high moves overhead, a nice day on Wednesday. But here comes low pressure to the, uh, toward the Great Lakes and starts to draw some gulf moisture. And we see showers and maybe even some thunderstorms running around in some places in the east on Thursday, Christmas Eve. We're going to be in the 50s here with that screaming south wind on Thursday ahead of these showers and storms. Uh, whenever you see isobars that are basically V-shaped like you do here, that's telling you you've got a sharp cold front, which means you have the potential for heavy, uh, heavy rain, conv convection, thunderstorms, and a sharp wind shift, which will go from south to northwest. And that means those winds are going to be ra rather strong. Uh, the... Um, possibility of a changeover to snow on the back side of this, I think, is minimal because um, it, usually in cases like this, the rain just simply shuts off. But Christmas Day is going to be a windy, cold day. I think we're going to be no higher than the upper 20s. We're going to see temperatures settling in the upper 20s and lower 30s. And uh, there will be, a, 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 I guess we could call it a very busy wind uh, possibly on the order of uh, thir uh, 30 to 40 miles an hour or or even higher. So we'll address that as the week goes on. This, so this is our weather system for the week that uh, will bring some rain for Christmas Eve and then a windy, cold, but dry Christmas day. And it looks like we'll have a cold and dry weekend. And you'll notice there are weather systems running around for next week. Uh, and at least at this stage of the game on the long range, uh, we aren't seeing them being displayed as anything major, but that's usually how it works in the long range. You don't often see it until you get inside the seven-day time frame, and we're not there yet. And as I said, I, I'm pretty, I'm still bullish uh, with regards to winter weather in the long term. Weather in five brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware, 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon. 631-756-1125. They were ready for the first winter storm that we had, and they still have tons of uh, rock salt available in case you need that. Also, a number of other snow and ice melting products, shovels, snow blowers, spreaders, you name it, they got it. Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon. Uh, not sure about a Joe and Joe show tomorrow because I am on the road and um, I'm headed back on Sunday. So um, if the weather looks still pretty quiet, we may just skip it after the busy week that Joe and I had. And then we'll be back on Monday at 730 Eastern time for the next Joe and Joe weather show. So small chance that we could come on tomorrow. We'll see what, what the day holds for me. But um, more than likely, it won't be back. We won't be back until Monday. Have a great weekend, folks. Uh, we'll uh, we'll see you soon.